Welcome to Wintry Scotland. Here I am at Edinburgh Airport. Infrastructure has been very important in Edinburgh over the last few years, so much so that the City of Edinburgh Council has spent over £3.5 billion on infrastructure. The trams in Edinburgh have been so successful that the City of Edinburgh Council are actually considering expanding the trams from the city centre down to Leith. Anyway, we're going to go on the tram now, so come with me. Here at Edinburgh Park, we were involved in over 125,000 square feet of occupier activity in Q4. That resulted in the vacancy rate falling significantly from 15% to below 5%. And the interesting thing was, JP Morgan and HSBC, who acquired a lot of accommodation, are actually moving jobs from down there in London up to here in Edinburgh. And that improving occupier sentiment has driven rental growth of over 25% on Edinburgh Park in the last two years. And that's brought investors back into the out-of-town market in Edinburgh. At the end of last year, we sold the adjacent building let to Sainsbury's Bank to a financial institution looking to capitalise on that rental growth story. But even out here, we're not immune to the threat of residential development to business space. The owners of the park out here are looking to gain consent for the conversion of the remainder of the park to residential. Here in the Haymarket, we are seeing change accelerating following the opening of the tram line and the refurbishment of Haymarket Station. Already this year, 40 to Frick and Street has been completed, a refurbishment by Triuva, and we're starting to see progress on site at the Haymarket, a £200 million development by Tiger and Interserve. More office development is desperately needed, with requirements in Edinburgh continuing to outstrip supply. At St Andrews Square, in the heart of the city, change is very much the name of the game. On the south side at 328 St Andrews Square, Standard Life Investments have secured 108,000 square foot pre-let. They have also acquired the adjacent building which they're going to refurbish the office accommodation. Adjacent to that on the east side is 42 St Andrews Square which has been acquired by the Chris Stewart Group. They secured planning permission in December to convert part of the building into a high quality service apartments and develop the remainder as a 65,000 square foot grade A office building to be known as the Mint Building. Moving around the square, RBS are about to bring to the market the period offices at 35 and 36. And to the north, Buckin House, a former office occupied by IBM, has been sold for conversion to a hotel. This trend of converting offices for alternative accommodation is prevalent right across the city and is putting pressure on an already tight supply. We're now at Quartermile, one of Scotland's largest urban regeneration schemes on the site of the former Edinburgh Royal Infirmary. The development's now being carried out by Moorfield. We're delighted to have advised in 2014 on the latest speculative office on site, Quartermile 4 behind me here, which is due for completion in spring this year. The development is due to be let to Cirrus Logic and Fanjul, two technology companies, which really shows that fortune favours the brave when it comes to spec development in the city. The final office building to be developed in the scheme, Quarter Mile 3, will start on site in spring this year. Here we are at Atria, a trophy grade A development of over 200,000 square feet in the heart of the Exchange District in the city centre. We're in the process of selling this building on behalf of the City of Edinburgh Council to an overseas institution for in excess of £100 million, which was the asking price reflecting a yield of 5.63%. 2015 was another cracking year in the Edinburgh office market. Take-up was over 950,000 square feet, the highest level since 2001, the financial sector and the expanding tech sector being the most active sectors in the market. This activity will lead to further rental growth, where we anticipate rents of around £31 per square foot at present, rising to £34 per square foot. This positive sentiment that Cameron is referring to in the occupier market is really driving the investment market forward. 2015 was a fantastic year and we saw £420 million worth of deals happen in 2015. 63% of these were from overseas institutions and overseas investors. Our prime yields in Edinburgh are 5.25% and we think that presents really attractively compared to some of the other big six markets. Now it's time to say farewell from a wet Edinburgh and head west to our colleagues in Glasgow.